question I have is, uh, wow, now there's a blast for the past. Great. Very good. So uh, raise your hand if you've had acupuncture or you've tried acupuncture. Okay, good. All right. We have, uh, and then there's you know, a few people who have not you know, had the experience, so we'll learn a lot more about it. And it teach a little bit more about this really ancient and uh, beautiful medicine. <coughs> Um, you know, in the in the bigger picture, uh, just so you get a little background, the reason that this book was written was honestly for our patients, uh, because of what we saw through the course of their lives dealing with certain types of health conditions. There we go. Uh, so, did anybody know that today? happens to be Oriental Medicine Day. Uh -uh. Is that the craziest thing ever? Some of your patients you know because there's like balloons in the office and everything like that. The funny thing is, is uh, uh, Daniel, um, you know, and, and Phyllis uh, had asked us to do this event. And uh, we were going to do it in the beginning of October. And the date that opened up, because this is a very busy place, we you know, encourage you to come back and visit this store in the future. Uh, but uh, Daniel, basically said this was the only day that was open. And it just so happens that uh, in 4,000 years of history, this is Oriental Medicine Day, the chances are about one out of 365. <laughs> so kind of a crack up. Maybe if we could dim the lights a little bit there, Morgan, that would be great. <clears throat> OK. So the book that was written, and this is directly from the dedication is for the millions of patients in our country who've suffered with seemingly unexplainable conditions, been given incomprehensible diagnoses, and little or no options for help. That was the purpose of this book. And perhaps some of you know or have been the, you know, on the receiving end of some of that information uh, from physicians that may have been a little bit confused about what was happening with you. Uh, so that's why this book was written. Uh, this is the people's medicine. There's a long, rich, and beautiful history to this medicine. It was designed for human beings. There is nothing complex about it. As a matter of fact, I will tell you that if you ever go to an acupuncturist, and they are, oh my gosh, Priscilla. Oh my gosh, this is just an honor. Wow. So, uh, wow. So, jeez, uh, you like get a little goosebumps. This is a great story. You want to take a minute to explain who you are? Come here, Priscilla. Come here. Come here. You have to say, this is such a wonderful story. Very quickly, you guys have to hear this. This is the inspiration of the 4,000-year-old medicine right here. This is about as beautiful as it gets. So how about a round of applause for Priscilla? This is an impromptu experience. Wow. All right, this is, this is the medicine in its fullest capacity. So if you want to take a minute to explain your story. My ears are so red, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. My ears are really red and I'm embarrassed too. So. Um, several years ago, I had a problem with my wrist, and I couldn't use it at all. And I uh, wore a you know, temporary cast. So this went on and on. It got worse and worse over about a five-year period. And um, so I went, and I had an x-ray, and I went to a surgeon. And he said that I would need to have it up here because I didn't have any cartilage in it and all, and I couldn't bend it. Um, it was really rigid and it also had like a big lump here, like in the bone. So, does it sound familiar, right? Incomprehensible diagnoses from my earlier discussion, right? And um, so, I decided, and I heard some, a fantastic commercial on the radio. And it was. Oh, uh, gosh, this is WFMR. <laughs> Curry had done. Like 10 years ago. And um, it was really wonderful and creative and just fantastic. And I thought, I'm going to go there and I'm going to see what can happen. So we looked at everything and um, we talked about some things. And he began um, working with my wrist um, over about a six month period. And I went a couple times a week. And at first, you know, I noticed when I got acupuncture the next day, I kind of did a little more, but in a different way. And so it's like, okay, and I just kept trying and trying, and then I did some other things. I, um, I changed my diet. I also started working out um, five days a week. I did everything that I could possibly do in taking herbs to change how I felt. And after about, I would say, 
about four months, like I could start to have like really great mobility in my wrist. And I mean, this is after five years. It was just unbelievable. And so um, we just kept up and then I um, went to see Curry less and less and less because as I became more mobile with my wrist. So, which is nice because of acupuncture being cumulative. And it's like, okay, this is really good. So I uh, actually still see Curry, but what happened here is this is, was so, um, such a wonderful experience of mine personally and how it really gave my quality of life back to me that I want to study acupuncture. So I started studying acupuncture two years ago and now I'm in acupuncture school. And I'm still in school. She's supposed to be studying right now, but she decided to come here, which but is why I'm like, so I just couldn't, This is just so wonderful. I, and I brought another uh, student, and we're both third year students from the school, to um, oh. participate with this too, Jocelyn. And, um, and so that's why we're here, and um, Curry and his team are fantastic. And um, I didn't just have Curry for acupuncture, but other members of his team as well. And it's just a um, wonderful clinic. It's a, it's a wonderful, um, energizing, and um, kind of just a real place to feel at home and get better. And um, so my experience was great. So that's why I'm here tonight, because I just want to see this. It's a round of applause for <laughs> Yeah, it's a great thing, you know? Uh, it's a great thing. There was a day many years ago, I had digestive problems since I was an infant, and I had a very similar experience to Priscilla with my digestive problems, eliminated them totally using herbs and acupuncture. And uh, yeah, my, my life has never been the same since, as you can probably tell. It takes uh, one down a certain road, right? Destiny is such. Okay, anyway, so back to this, and thank you. Thank you. Wow. Um, so the, the purpose of the book then is to help people understand what this is all about. You know, what I ran into years ago as I was dealing with people is I would give a piece of information about very basic, what does the body do, how does it work? I would give real basic pieces of information to people that made sense to them logically. And, uh, you know, if, if anyone's interested, I could go into a brief, does it, raise your hand if you would be bored by me telling that how this book started in the first place. Raise your hand if that's not interesting to you. You don't want to hear it? Oh, okay. Well, you're outvoted. I'll go fast. <laughs> okay, very quickly. There was a woman who came into us in her 70s uh, who had a specific type of health concern that involved significant incontinence. And she had lost her husband, and she would travel to see family, but she couldn't get on an airplane because she would have accidents. Uh, as she was going to cruising altitude, as we all know, you will be tackled if you're trying to use the restroom, right? And uh, so this was her main problem because her family was in Germany, California, and Alaska, not easily driven destinations, right? So uh, she came in, and, and there was this beautiful, beautiful statement that I gave her in this thick, voluminous text, which you guys are studying now. It's actually the book by Giovanni and Fundamentals. So there's a section that kind of talks about how that works, right? Anyway, so the, the whole book, there was one sentence I could use for this woman that would make sense, and then the rest of it I couldn't show her because she would just, like, you know, Chinese medical theory is relatively complex, uh, being a different language and from a different time period in history. Its roots really are from thousands of years ago. So she <clears throat> ended up hearing this, and for the first time she sat there and her mouth was open, and she said, I've been given all these diagnoses for the last six or seven years, and no one can tell me why it is I can't be in an airplane and just travel. I want to be able to travel. And it made sense to her, we began treating it, eventually, you know, she now comes back with like samples 